Recyclico Battery Materials Inc. is a company focused on recycling and upcycling lithium ion battery waste. With minimal processing steps and up to 100% extraction of lithium, cobalt, nickel, and manganese, the patented closed loop hydrometallurgical process creates valuable lithium ion battery materials for direct integration into the remanufacturing of new lithium ion batteries. Pretty much here is, is some of the equipment, like an ICP machine, right? And this will measure the, the elemental content in, in the materials we produce. And that's really important in terms of the purity of the product, because in batteries you want very high purity. Um, you don't want any kind of uh, thermal runaway or any, any, um, a, any issues that can happen um, you know, if, the, the, if it's not up to spec. Uh, and you see this as well with battery recalls, um, you know, exploding phones, these kind of things. Like the, the spec has to be perfect, otherwise it's just, it can be a billion dollar disaster as well, right? So this is when we're making our material, we're just ensuring that it is to these specs. Uh, so we do have the equipment here for that, right? There's obviously a level of expertise that's needed here and a lot of uh, innovation involved. And this really started in 2016 and like, like you saw back there, it started from little beaker tests and now one thing when it comes to innovative technologies and, and doing something for the first time it's you know how does that scale and it's important that it scales and it can be practical approach in solving the recycling the big recycling question and now as you can see in 2022 we're here at this full scale we call the demonstration plan and 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 with the data here and the testing we're doing here this is giving us the confidence and de-risking the process in terms of going up that next stage to the commercial scale, right? And that's to be deployed globally, essentially. Um, and yeah, essentially from up there, we go through these leaching stages, taking out the lithium, nickel, manganese, and cobalt, coming through here, making sure we get rid of any impurities, like I mentioned, right? We don't want any impurities in the material. Um, and then through some of all these stages, as we're still working through and testing material and, and, may, and optimizing, uh, we're pulling out the nickel, manganese, and cobalt. We're uh, recovering the lithium as well. And then that material is being analyzed and all this data is being collected. And this is really important to do at this scale, right? And it's, this is what we have here in Vancouver and um, you know, want to make it you know, even five times, 10 times the size uh, uh, in the future because the waste the amount of waste that's going to be out there is, is growing I mean it's not at a, a significant level right now but it's it's definitely going to be there right and, and recycling will be inevitable whether it's second use uh, that will need to be recycled as well so in this facility the battery waste goes in and then through uh, a process within this facility a battery ready product also comes out yeah, it's essentially the battery waste, I mean, we go through multiple steps in making sure we take out any impurities, making sure we produce a clean product that is to that battery standard. Um, and then that product that is produced is what we'd look to uh, introduce back into battery remanufacturing. And that, that can all happen in, in one you know, closed loop process uh, like you see in this facility. But you can see it's, it's very sophisticated, right? This is not something that is being built for the first time. It's really a one of a kind kind of process. And it's not uh, something that you want to scale from initial beaker testing all the way commercial, right? You have to go this methodical approach um, and, and, and get, you know, get the confidence to, uh, for, for that large scale to, to build it uh, across Canada, across the US as, as the electric vehicle demand grows, as battery production grows. So this facility would essentially be the first step to almost a circular economy of using the the battery waste um, within like its own geographical region yeah essentially and the the first step really being like where's the most recyclable material going to come from and right now it's the gigafactories as they produce battery cells they're going to make battery waste it's not so much the end of life vehicle so a facility like this directly integrated or, or co-located, you know, nearby, however you want to word it, 
a gigafactory can enable that gigafactory to take their production waste that still is very valuable material and introduce it back into remanufacturing new cells. So it's building more of these alongside instead of just one standalone recycling facility. So it, it, with the technology in a facility like this, it enables, uh, it enables more of a direct circular economy, right? It's how, how you define that. Um, and, and this is in, in the smallest, smallest possible loop, I think. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the RecycleCo factory floor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a share, and consider watching our interview with RecycleCo CEO, Zarko Mezelgia.